The Garden of Love is a short poem that criticizes the practices of the church in late 18th century. The poem was written by William Blake and first published in 1794. Blake made a couple of important contributions to what is now considered the Romantic Age in terms of British literary history. Let's start this video with a reading and superficial analysis of the actual lines before I tell you about the meaning and symbolism of the poem. I went to the Garden of Love and saw what I never had seen. A chapel was built in the midst where I used to play on the green. The start of the poem shows how the speaker goes to the Garden of Love, a place where he used to play on the grass, but now he finds that a chapel has been built in the middle of this garden. And the gates of this chapel were shut, and thou shalt not writ over the door. So I turned to the Garden of Love, that so many sweet flowers bore. The speaker walks up to the small church-like building and sees that its doors are shut, and a rather negative message is displayed above, thou shalt not. The speaker then turns away and looks towards a part of the garden where there used to be a lot of flowers. And I saw it was filled with graves and tombstones where flowers should be, and priests in black gowns were walking their rounds, and binding with briars my joys and desires. Graves have taken up the places where flowers used to grow, and next to that, the speaker sees priests in black garments who are using briars, which are prickly branches, to keep the joys and desires of people in check. William Blake must have written this poem to express his critique on the religious practices of his time. He was a very religious man, but argued that religion should be about love and joy, rather than rules and restrictions. At the start of the poem, the speaker goes to a place where he used to be free and could place his heart's content amongst nature's beauty. The fact that a religious building is now covering up this beloved playground already shows how religious practices are at odds with feeling love and freedom, according to this poem. The second paragraph reinforces this image by showing the chapel with closed doors. Religion should be about including everyone in the love of God, yet the doors to his house are shut. And what's more, the message thou shalt not symbolizes how religious figures focus too much on rules and restrictions, so on what people are not allowed to do. In the third paragraph, the graves fortify the idea that the place where one should feel love has now become much more gloomy than it used to be. Furthermore, the priests walking around in the garden are wearing black, which could be interpreted as a symbol for death, and thus how they were too focused on the afterlife. Their focus also seems to be on punishing the sinfulness of people rather than bringing them closer to God. I hope this video was in some way helpful for you. For more videos like this one, head over to my channel, Illustrated and Explained.